Bird, how bad is the market being pressured right now by these rising rates? Well, rising rates are definitely uh, pressuring the market, but realistically, you can't use 2021 as a gauge for other years. Um, I would say that our third quarter was probably the second best quarter we've ever had in business. So the only one that surpassed it was 2021. Uh, so if you go back to like 2019, pre, pre COVID, we did better than that this year. Right. So the, so the comps are strong from last year. So well, are you saying it's holding it. up? No, I'm not saying it's holding are... up. It's less, it's less than last year, but I'm just saying that it's, uh, somewhat not a good judge just because you have one year, which mm -hmm. no one really understands how or why it happened. Okay. Uh, yeah. and then you go back to more normalcy and everyone thinks it's so oh, the business is terrible it's not terrible we're busy we're doing deals all the time in all our markets and uh, maybe we have an advantage hmm. because we're in the luxury markets and those are better than low-end markets that's what i was going to ask if luxury is holding up better so what about howard what about rents because rents have stayed high and actually climbed as people are sort of forced out of buying now and into renting. And that's a big part of the CPI, which the Federal Reserve is targeting. When do rents come down? Well, you, 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 I've read a lot in, uh, in certain markets where rents are coming down already. But I would say that for sure in the uh, like in Florida and in New York, uh, the rents are still very high. And in fact, on the on the luxury rentals, the high end are astronomical pricing, things we've never seen before. Um, on a uh, on a square foot basis, so rents are pretty in pretty good shape, and maybe that's because people aren't buying as much as they did before, and so they're just renting and they don't mind paying more in rent. You mentioned New York and Florida. I was going to ask about both of these markets because we have we got the results of the midterms. The governors there stay the same, overwhelmingly so. Do you think when I talk to developers, a lot of it comes? Why are people moving from New York to Florida? A lot of it comes down to the politics. Do you think these trends? of business and hedge funds going to Florida from New York will continue? Look, I don't agree that those were the, the, the number one factor. I think the number one factor, I think there are two and they're close. One was taxes, okay? No taxes, no state taxes, as opposed to New York, and especially if you're in the city. And I think number two is uh, quality of life. Uh, people are moving down. Um, I think the crime, the crime is less here. They're worried about the crime in New York. But having said all that, New York is not going away. And, and I've been talking to so many people. And a lot of people that moved here, even though they moved with their families, they still kept the house or apartment they had in New York. So that shows you what they think about New York. And I think, and I've said it before, I've been quoted, that I think New York City, once they work a little bit more on the crime problem mm -hmm. to get that crime problem down, I think will be the number one second home market to the world. Oh, that's good news for us New Yorkers. So, so Howard, are you building right now? What, what's, what is all this doing, the rising rates and the changes in the market doing to development and mm -hmm. building pipelines? And ultimately, how is that going to impact inventories? Sure. Well, in New York, in, 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 no one's really started anything new for the last uh, few years since COVID came. Florida is booming on new developments, booming. Um, there are so much new developments uh, in Florida, and they're at all ends, the lower, the mid, and the really high-end luxury at crazy prices. And we're seeing prices. We just uh, saw a sale in a project that we're selling on Miami Beach that approached uh, $7,000 a square foot.